And here is the Writer's Almanac for Sunday. It's the 7th of June, 2020. It's the birthday of the novelist Orhan Pamuk, born in Istanbul, 1952. Has lived his entire life in Istanbul, apart from three years in New York City. In 2005, he gave an interview in which he referred to the Armenian genocide and the mass killing of tens of thousands of Kurds, for which criminal charges were filed against him. There was an international outcry. Many noted authors spoke out in his defense. The charges were dropped the following year. It's the birthday of the novelist Louise Erdrich, born in Little Falls, Minnesota, 1954, grew up in Wapiton, North Dakota. Her mother, French Ojibwe, her father, German. Her parents taught at the Bureau of Indian Affairs. She went off to Dartmouth, 1972, the year that the university started admitting women, and the year they established a new Native American Studies program. Louise Erdrich started off as a poet. Her first book was Jack Light. She said, I began to tell stories in the poems and then realized that there was not enough room, so she moved on to fiction. Her first short story, The Red Convertible, came out in 1981. And in 1984, she published Love Medicine, a novel made up of 14 interrelated stories, populated with characters in the fictional town of Argus, North Dakota, or the nearby reservation, Marie Lazar, who starts out life convinced that she wants to be a nun, and her rival, Lulu Lamartine. After Love Medicine, Louise Erdrich wrote many novels set in the same fictional place, and Marie and Lulu and Nectar Cashpaw all reappeared. Novels including The Last Report on the Miracles at Little No Horse, The Master Butcher's Singing Club, The Plague of Doves, and Shadow Tag. Louise Erdrich, who said, By having children, I've both sabotaged and saved myself as a writer. With a child, you certainly can't be a Bruce Chatwin or a Hemingway living the adventurer writer life. No, running with the bulls at Pamplona. If you value your relationship with your children, you can't write about them. There is also one's inclination to be charming instead of presenting a grittier truth about the world. But then having children has also made me this particular writer. Without my children, I'd have written with less fervor. I wouldn't understand life in the same way. I'd write fewer comic scenes, which are the most challenging. It's the birthday of the novelist Harry Cruz, born in Bacon County, Georgia, 1935, was in the Marines during the Korean War, went to college on the G.I. Bill, published eight novels when he was in his 30s, including The Gospel Singer, and wrote a memoir, A Childhood, The Biography of a Place. And it's the birthday of the novelist Elizabeth Bowen, born Dublin, 1899. An only child, her father was mentally ill. Her mother died when she was 13. After that, the girl was raised by various relatives. Elizabeth Bowen said, The original wish to write is the wish to make oneself felt. Her books included The Death of the Heart, The Heat of the Day, and Eva Trout. Here's a poem for today by Ramon Montaigne, Unification. The Mississippi at its mouth joins the Gulf of Mexico. The west wind mixes with the south, high pressure with the low. Nothing in nature stands apart, all things rendezvous. I'd like to mingle with you. Intermingled, intertwined, this is what I have in mind. I just feel a sudden urge to merge. The compound that is chlorophyll formed as the light increases makes every little flower thrill with photosynthesis. The morning glory mingles with the honeysuckle vine. Come wrap your little tendrils around mine. I've been lonely as a cloud, drifting miserable and proud, lonely as a limestone butte, handsome, noble, destitute. But I need you, I confess. Let's coalesce. Unification by Ramon Montaigne, used by permission of the poet. That's the Writer's Almanac for Sunday, the 7th of June. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.